Together, we are about to travel to locations rarely seen by the public eye, up to the high mountains of northern Thailand. There, communities of indigenous peoples have for generations been living relatively traditional lives. Their unique cultures are vanishing, however, as they, like those in the urban areas below them, are becoming ever more part of a modernizing trend. Global market forces and government policies are in a sense forcing villagers to shove centuries of indigenous knowledge aside and adopt modernized, developed lifestyles in order to survive. They are trying their best to maintain traditional ways while adapting to an encroaching modern world that is pulling them in one television program at a time. However, as the village elders are fading away, their indigenous knowledge with them the middle-aged community members want to preserve the culture for which they feel responsible but may not know how, and the younger generations are looking to a world outside of the village for examples of how to survive in a modern world society. Many of these communities overall are amid a very tangible identity crisis, and their future is uncertain. This is a global issue. The future of humankind is also uncertain, as the economic market related decisions that humans have been making for generations are rendering like never before very tangible effects on our reality in terms of our natural environment and overall social functioning. If we are going to find creative solutions to global challenges, then let's focus on the root of prominent global issues. What is transpiring in developing parts of the world has long since happened in first world developed supposedly more advanced societies, namely issues related to environmental degradation, material acquisition, economic inequality, and poverty. Here we must prioritize, what do we humans really want? For ourselves, our neighbors, and especially for our future generations. This Indigenous Voices project focuses on the D of the word development. What are development related processes taking away from what is essentially the essence of humankind? Our unique cultures, our traditional ways of life, our connection with nature. What are the replacements, both negative and positive? This project is proposing that more traditional cultures, particularly those of indigenous peoples, whose communities represent a nature intrinsic to us all, can potentially serve as a contemporary social scientific measurement of how all of humankind has been affected at our core by modern development related phenomena. This conversation can be initiated by remembering where all of us really come from, and it isn't the city. We can begin by listening to indigenous voices from an age range and from different ethnicities, and about how their communities have been impacted by modern economic development. Here are some of these voices. 